This is a 1981 Pontiac Trans Am, powered by a great running 400 four barrel V8 engine. Comes equipped with power steering, power disc brakes, headers. It's got an Eldebrock um, intake and a Holley four barrel carburetor. Was a factory air conditioning car. Um, the AC compressor and stuff is no longer with it. Does have the correct shaker and really a very presentable uh, engine bay. As we look at our hood gaps here, it gets just a little wider in the front, but actually uh, not much to speak of. As we look across the front, we have a nice even gap from side to side. The nose piece is in great shape. Um, a couple spots on the grills here, you got some black uh, paint chipping just a little bit. And you got just a little rub mark right there by my finger. Other than that, the front nose looks great. It's not cracking or separating anywhere on that front nose like a lot of them. As we look at our passenger side uh, hood gap, it's pretty much the same. It's got a nice even gap on the back all the way across. But at the very front there, um, it's probably an eighth of an inch difference. As we look at our front chin spoiler here, um, kind of out of alignment right there, there's a little gap there. Uh, tires are in decent shape all the way around, they're BFGs, they're on 15 inch rims, um, they've got old school Keystone Raiders, that the chrome's decent but it does have um, some surface rust on the back rims. The paint on this car is probably uh, three to five years old and it's in excellent shape. Um, the front fender on the passenger side is absolutely perfect. There's no chips, scratches, dings, nothing like that. As we look at the door on the passenger side, same thing, absolutely no flaws that I can see. It does have the dual mirrors on it. The glass is good in the mirrors. Um, the window fit is excellent on it. It's got a nice uh, window rubber there as well. Door gap across the back is nice. Paint on the rear quarter is excellent. Again, no blisters anywhere. It's got the correct dual exhaust. Here's that rim I was telling you about. Just around that inside lip there is surface rusty. I have not taken a, um, any uh, cleaner or anything to it. Some of that surface rust might come off, but there is some damage on that uh, chrome on that rim. Um, we're missing the passenger side one of these. I did. I just got the car in a couple days ago, so I got that ordered. Um, that'll be put on by the time we get the car done here. Um, if you look at the paint job, look at um, the inner door jam area. The scuff plates are brand new. Just whoever did the paint job did a beautiful job on it. All the doors and everything was taken off when it was done. Jammed very properly. As we look at the uh, blue interior door panels, they're in excellent shape. Our rubbers are new at the time of paint. They're fantastic. Our corners of the doors are good. It's got the new stoppers in it. Just a very nice restoration on an 81 Trans Am. Both front seats are in excellent condition. There's no tears, stress cracks, nothing like that, no stains. It's got nice padding in it, console's in great shape, uh, dash pad's nice, no cracks or anything wrong with the dash pad. There's a little discoloration here between the dash pad and the console. Um, the console and the uh, glove box door is just a little lighter blue than the rest of it. If you look close, this roof rail rubber is all brand new as well. The chrome around the roof rail is nice. Dome light works, headliner's nice. Let's go here to the back seat once. Carpet's new as well. I mean, the seats and carpet and everything's in excellent shape. Back seat's great. There again, no flaws in the back seat. 
Um, back door panels are even in fantastic shape. A lot of times they get real chalky and brittle. Um, these must have been replaced because they're in fantastic condition as well. Seat backs are good, but they have what I was talking about, some chalkiness on the tops of them. They just get kind of, they're not to the brittle stage yet at all, but they're just a little chalky. We don't, we don't have the ideal conditions for uh, having a Trans Am out. We had some ice here a couple days ago and it's still, uh, parking lot's still really icy. So we're not gonna go very fast. We're just gonna try to make it to the shop so I can tell you here how it runs and drives. At least this way you can hear how it sounds. It's got a nice dual exhaust, comes out like it should. Uh, the paint on the back bumper is excellent. Uh, the gaps here around the rear spoiler and trunk lid are nice on the driver's side very nice on the passenger side as well they're all straight and true there just like the passenger side the uh, driver's side rear quarter doesn't have any flaws on it no blisters no paint scratches anything that I can see here The tires are decent, like I said, they're wore down just a little bit. They're 255s on the back, 6015s. There's two little tiny chips right here, and there's a small paint crack. I took a picture of it as well, but right here, and there's one ding. One very, very small ding right down in here. You can see as you look up and down the side. Other than that, that's it, guys. Uh, rocker panel, front fender, door. Um, I don't see an imperfection anywhere in it other than that. It's in great shape. As we open the driver's door, the bottom corner is absolutely perfect as well. Door jam pane is excellent. Just as nice as the outside, and a lot of people don't do that. Um, they tend to do you know, kind of a halfway job on the jams. This car is not like that. Here's that black plastic piece that we're going to put on the passenger side. We ordered them. We got two new ones coming. So, um, on the door panel, there's a small crack right here. It's on that inner lip. The rest of the door panel is in great shape as you look down here. But it's got a crack there. Uh, Body by Fisher panels are new at the time of restoration. Driver's side seat's excellent. Door panel's great. Just a really nice car. Um, a few of the things that work and don't work. Heater fan works. Got nice heat coming out of it. Um, temperature gauge does work. It's not quite warmed up yet. It's running about 120, 130. Uh, oil pressure gauge works. It's running about 15 to 20 pounds there. Uh, factory clock works. The tachometer does not work. Dash lights work. Odometer shows 12,754. I'm guessing for sure that's probably 112, not 212. I know it's not 12. Uh, gas gauge works and amp gauge works. It does have a Sony CD player. Drink a bit. Works well. Um, we've also got rear six by nines. Like I said, we got some really icy parking lot here. Wipers work on it. Horn does not work. So the two things that I see on here that do not work at this time is the factory tack and the horn. Other than that, the heater and all the other gauges work properly. Rear defrost works. Got lights up. said we're not going to go fast at all here with the road conditions but transmission shifts great on it shifts properly at least we can talk about the front suspension and stuff um, goes down the road nice and straight the steering feels nice does not need an alignment
Engine sounds nice as well. It's got a nice sound and dual exhaust. Speedometer works accurately. Heater works great. A lot of these classics, you get a little cold on a cold day like today, taking them out. The heater just works fantastic. There's no heater core leak, nothing like that on the floor. No smell of antifreeze. I really like these shaker hood cars. Just kind of neat. As far as our brakes go, we got disc brakes on the front. Um, brakes stop nice and straight, have a full pedal. suspension's great. Absolutely no pull left or right. Um, no shimmy or shake. The steering wheel feels great. Steering's nice and tight as well. Just a really nice Trans Am. The paint's excellent shape. Uh, floors are solid. Frame rails are solid on it. Interior's nice, runs and drives nice. Um, just an all around excellent driving 81 Pontiac Trans.